So when I first got invited to go out to Buck Hill, I was really excited. Um, anybody that skis in the Midwest knows the name Buck Hill. <laughs> they have produced some amazing racers over the years. The racers that came out of here kind of put the hill on the map. So everybody knows Lindsey Vaughn. Um, so everybody knows Buck Hill. That's where she started. Bucket is located 20 miles south of the Twin Cities, has 309 vertical feet, 10 lifts, and 16 runs. Buck Hill started like many Midwest resorts do, as a farm. And in the early 1950s, Chuck Stone and his soon-to-be wife basically leased the property wanting to start a ski resort. One thing became very clear, they wanted to have a really great race team. It started in the late 60s uh, with Eric Seiler. He, uh, Chuck Stone, the original owner, brought him in uh, to start to win some races. He wanted to build the program a little bit. So he brought in this Austrian, uh, never been to the Flatlands before. I've never been in the Midwest, so I saw no, I was looking for a mountain or for a hill and uh, I couldn't find it. I, when I came here, his, the reason that they hired me is to win a race, because they never won a race. Um, some excitement built, some energy built, and it, uh, as kind of Eric went through with the program over the years, he's, you know, probably coached 15,000 kids over the years, if not more. Um, He's had countless World Cup racers come out of this program, several Olympians. Incredible coach. Um, he's good technically, but he also knows what athletes need to hear. And so that's one thing the rest of us try to learn from him is how to find that part of the, of the coaching aspect. The hill is, it takes 45 seconds to get to the top. The kids can get more runs, more repetition than anybody else. Um, another huge part of it would be uh, demonstration. Eric's always believed in demonstrating the skills, not just talking about them. For racing, for our side of things, it's it's really the perfect setup for becoming a good slalom racer. And from that skill set you can develop into like a Lindsey Vaughn for instance who is, you know, the most decorated women's skier of all time and her specialty was downhill, but she started as a slalom skier. The racing legacy is I think one of the things that Buck Hill is best known for. Um, obviously with Lindsey Vaughn's retirement we've gotten a ton of press uh, worldwide with her uh, and her acknowledgement of coming from the Buck Hill racing team, but it goes way back to Christina Kosnick and, and others that have gone through our program here as well. The, the racing tradition is something we're really proud of. Whether you're a racer, intermediate skier, beginner, tuber, or you enjoy time in the park, they have just about everything for everybody there. Winters in Minnesota or the Midwest are usually long and sometimes harsh. And, uh, and it gives everybody a chance to, you know, you might as well make the most of winter if you're gonna live here. Oh, it was just so much fun. I mean, we had a blast. There was just so much terrain to play around with in such a small package. I, I don't know how they fit all that in there. We met a lot of awesome people, but boy, do they have a lot of amazing skiers there. Constantly, it's it's proven that you know some of our local skiers can compete with skiers from all over the world. A lot of racing done. A lot of good skiers out of here. One of the things that we're known for, again, is the rope toes, and that really differentiates us, I think, on a, a national platform. And our kids get hundreds of gates each night when they're training. We're the flyover states, I think, it's East Coast, West Coast, but the Midwest has produced a ton of great skiers, ski racers, and snowboarders. So top notch, you know, they'll stand up anywhere around the world.
One thing that's extremely unique about Buck Hill is that it is in an urban setting. You know, 25 minutes to 30 minutes from downtown Minneapolis, so it makes it more accessible. You can see the skyline on a clear day from the top of the hill. It's just so unique skiing down and being surrounded by suburban uh, Minneapolis. It's easy for kids to get dropped off here, take a lesson, get a couple hours of skiing or snowboarding and then get picked up by their parents. It's not a big deal. It's just like going to the mall for a lot of these kids. You can ski a couple of hours, you can ski the entire day, um, but Buck Hill has just a good variety of terrain for everybody. But when you come out here, we've got tubing, we've got drain parks, we've got jump lines, we've got gates, we've got skiing areas, we've got ski school, we've got mountain biking, we've got concerts. There's always something happening at Buck and it's always uh, kind of a fun to see who's out here on what night or what day and, and what, what kind of vibe is out here. So we want to continue that, build upon that and make the experiences greater for the guests so they can always depend on having a great time when they come out to Buck Hill. We had such a great time there. Everyone we ran into was extremely friendly. It was a really fun, inviting atmosphere. I fell in love with Buck Hill before I even became an employee here. I just came out here a couple of times and the, the environment, the guests, the whole experience. They come on, come and try it and, and uh, hopefully you fall in love with it. It's, it's a great time. It's a small enough resort where everybody kind of knows everybody and uh, so it's fun to see everybody out there having fun and doing their thing. Thank you so much to the team over at Buck Hill. We had a great time visiting with you guys. If you want more information about them, their website is buckhill.com. You can also follow them on their social media platforms as well. If you love what we're doing over at Midwest Gears, please follow all of our social media pages or check out our website at midwestgears.com. Until next time, I'll see you guys out there.